today we'll be showing you how to make a cappuccino and we'll be using our Mount Baker espresso beans. It's a medium roast and it pairs really well with milk. You could of course use any beans that you'd like, just make sure they are fresh so you have that nice crema from them. And this is everything you'll need to make the cappuccino including a kitchen scale, whole milk, and a double shot group head. We're going to start by adding hot water into our cup just to keep it warm and I'm just using the hot water directly from the Burville machine and then I will just set that aside while I prep everything else. So a cappuccino is typically 5-6 to six ounces and it's going to be one part espresso, one part milk, and one part foam. So since my espresso is going to be a 1 to 2 ratio, I'm going to weigh out 20 grams of the coffee beans and I'm going to shoot for about 40 to 45 grams of espresso from that. And next up, I'm going to weigh out 4 ounces of milk. Again, I'm using whole milk for this because it'll seem really well and it's easier to get that nice microfilm from it. I'm not going to use a full amount, but because four ounces really isn't that much, it'll be easier to steam it. And you can see just how little four ounces is, but after incorporating that microfilm, it'll really add to the volume. Next up, we're going to grind our coffee. And my hopper was completely empty before adding the 20 grams of coffee beans into it. So I'm gonna keep grinding until my hopper is completely empty. After the first round, I'm just going to level it out a bit and then continue grinding until the hopper is empty. When you're tamping your coffee, remember to be really consistent. I'll leave a link to another video at the end of this if you want to learn how to pull the perfect espresso shot but you basically want a nice coffee puck that looks something like this. Now it's time to pull our shots and since I'm using 20 grams of coffee grounds, I'm shooting for about 40 to 45 grams worth of espresso. I'm going to press and hold the double cup button. This will turn it to manual mode, which means the espresso will keep pouring until I press that button again. And at the same time, I press my timer button to see how long this process takes. It ended up taking about 30 seconds and I got about 47 grams of espresso. And you can see the shot is coming out beautiful. If you don't have crema like this, check when your beans were roasted because chances are they've probably gone a little stale. All right, and the last step is to steam the milk. To begin, you want the wand just barely submerged, so it's making a sound almost like it's ripping paper. That means it's incorporating that microfilm into the milk. And typically, after it just starts getting warm, that's when I submerge the wand. But here, because we want more microfilm for the cappuccino, I incorporate more milk before submerging the wand. And you can see just how much microfilm I was able to incorporate into my milk. When we started out with four ounces, it really wasn't that much, but now it's nice and voluminous. So last step, just give it a couple taps on your counter, swirl it around, and then it is time to pour your latte art. And just as a little recap, this is a six ounce drink. It's one part espresso, one part milk, and one part foam. And that is it. Thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments down below and we'll do our best to answer.